A few weeks ago, I was up here celebrating a beautiful lady's uh, grand party, Hi'ile, and uh, I got grandpa with us today, <laughs> Mr. Bumpy Kanahele. Thank you for letting me come up here, Bumpy, to the sacred lands. Pu'uhonua, sacred village of Wamanawa. It's a refuge. It is a refuge. As you look down, Pete, you see all these lines of tea leaves. From what I understand, you was telling me this was on forest. Aren't these the trees they're trying to cut down? Because they say it's, it, it's invasive, it's, in, it's... Invasive. Yeah, but how long was it here? When tree had this to was, be here, kind of long after we'll go that tall. This bunch, this tree line was here at least 85, 90 years. How long have we been up here? Right now, going on uh, over 20 years now. You've been up here 20 years? Yeah. We started actually in 1993. Uh, just about when everything happened, the law went past, you know, the apology law. So it was during that time that 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 whole time, that period, imagine we, we get in this land signed over <laughs> and the law is coming in your hand and uh, we running around uh, exercising the rights to use our license plates and right, know, all that right, kind of stuff, right? Right. right. <laughs> as we as we look out at the ocean toward uh, Rabbit Island, is that is that that's our homestead? Tree line. That's yeah. all military and the state. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, the beach. That, yeah. Oh, you took the beach, huh? You took yeah, they took the beach. <laughs> hey, but better, better than the kind people when pay for them. Oh. Right? Because when transition time come, mm -hmm. we get the beach. That's right. Who owned the land? Didn't the monarchy own the land? Who owned the land? For, for, the, average, for the average Hawaiian family, before 1893, right? Let's say 1885, 1880. They was living anywhere you wanted to? Could you live anywhere you want to? No, even at that time. It was after 1840s when a lot of that went change because okay. the Mahele came. Okay. And that's how private ownership came into the mix of things. And still hidden behind a constitutional monarchy, right? Mm -hmm. But right now, go back to ownership of the land, no more ownership. We the caretakers though. Yeah. Hawaiians is the caretakers. Like Definitely it. was. We plenty of food though. We, we eat a lot from our own land now. It's a lot of taro, a lot of sweet potato, bananas, stuff like that. Basic stuff. Can we, can, can we go in and talk a little bit? Yeah. All right, let's go. Bobby, I'm looking up at the wall at a petition that was signed in 1897. 1897. Here you go, right up, Pete. That means to resist. The Hui Aloha Aina. Okay, this, this, this petition was signed back in the 1800s, in the beginning when they yeah. wanted they wanted after the, the annexation. And then five years after that, the annexation process, wow. when they were trying to steal everything legally. Wow. Baba, I gotta ask, I gotta ask, as I look back at this and, and all your stuff, right? And uh, uh, I just come straight up. What, what? For me being Okinawan, non-Hawaiian blood, looking in and not really understanding so What's much that? about the sovereign the sovereignty, yeah. What is what is it? Because I talk I talk to others and uh, you've been around, you've been pushing this long time. What exactly is it that people don't know? Get get on justice, bro. Justice uh, has not been served, you know. And that goes back to the, the overthrow. It started as soon as they came, right? 1820. 1820. That's that's when everything. They, and when you say they, who is they? The missionaries. Missionaries. When they first first came and but eventually after what seven, 1820 to 73 years later, 1893 was the end of of the monarchy uh, because of the overthrow. Today we know that. In 1993, 100 years later, the United States said, hey, we're sorry for overthrowing. From 1940, the first process for Hawaiians, political process, decolonization process, was in 1945. That was for Hawaiians, bro. It wasn't for anybody else. But yet the outcome was stated. Wow. This uh, well, yeah. the apology right the apology, here. The yeah. apology right here says it all. Clears, clears the and, way for yeah. But this apology, and now I know why you're mad. This apology don't do nothing. It never restore your kingdom. No. It, it never even fulfill giving you 
uh, that, that other one about, about the- Yeah, this is another process, yeah, but yeah. it got robbed. <laughs> this is the 100th anniversary of the overthrow, public law, this is it. It tells you straight right there on the first line, man. Yeah, so, so- you Acknowledge that you can <laughs> on behalf of the overthrow of the kingdom of Hawaii. We gotta yeah. figure out a way for how to come together, that's what we gotta do. We gotta, and not, not on any, any one type of model. I'm saying let's go figure out how to govern ourselves. We get plenty of money out there. We gotta start making decisions. Oh, how can I make decisions from Hawaiian homes? All the state agencies cannot. It's gonna need a government of the Hawaiian people to start addressing those things. We got. Do we see this happening in our lifetime? Oh yeah, bro. This this is coming down real quick. Okay. All right. Uh, Bob, I'm gonna thank you first of all for talking to me. Thank you for bringing me up to your beautiful uh, piece of uh, this. I know. Yes, Bob. This is no, it is. It's peaceful. Everybody that I talk to, because I posted a picture of us on my Facebook yeah. and Instagram. Everybody's they giving us love and they, they like come up here. Big T says, "How's it?" A uh, bun bunch of bunch of bunch of people were saying hi to you. Um, last one, last question. GMO. Tell me <laughs> your breakdown on GMO. The, you know, GMO fruit, the papaya. You know, all this kind of stuff. Uh, tell, tell, me, tell us the truth about GMO, bro. GMO. We got GMO way back when. Uh, I believe, I believe. Check this out, Canax. You guys was the first GMO. I, I think uh, the ex-president Harlan Cleveland describes it as, you know, with the uh, intermarriage and, and immigration has produced one of the world's most intriguing experiments in the development of a multicultural society mixed with Japanese, Chinese, Koreans, Filipinos, other workways and mindsets. GMO, that's the ingredient. They're, they're in figure them out. This president was smart. And, and it becomes a, a form of genocide if they don't recognize the culture of the people's concern when they were creating this GMO. Something like that. Right? <laughs> no ideas, bro. He just did all things stuff. Well, America taught us well. What? Everything. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>